morning. Um, I got this uh, question or problem from a, a viewer and this viewer's program is not working as expected so let me show you what it is doing and I'll tell you what it's not doing that we, we want it to do. Okay so basically we've got a little player here. Um, we've drawn a border um, so that's where this, the game screen is and basically when I move, push the arrow keys left and right it moves left and right but however it goes off the screen and outside of the border which is what we want to avoid. Okay, so um, in a case like this, there are no error messages. Um, so there's no syntax errors, there are no runtime errors. The code itself is fine uh, in the sense that it's syntactically correct, but it is not correct as in the program's not doing what we want it to do. This is called a logic error. Okay, so basically what we gotta do is kinda take a look at the code. Now fortunately this code is pretty well commented and to make things go a little sh faster, you see down here where we have checking if turtle is touching border. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, this is a very common uh, debugging technique. Now you could use a debugger to do this. I'm just going to use print statements. I'm going to print uh, the value of t.xcore. Okay, so basically, if that value is greater than 450 or less than negative 450, it's going to print out that value. That'll tell us if that part of the program is working or at least if we get to that code. So I gotta keep an eye over here. Okay, so I'm gonna move Okay, off the screen. No, that didn't work. Off the screen. Okay, so that's not working. All right, so that's kind of weird. Um, now, the one thing um, I always tell my students to do is to give the turtles, you know, a good a good name. So I just want to make sure that we're using the right turtle. So T and T. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so what this is telling us is we're not actually getting to that part of the code for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to do this again. I'm going to get out of the if statement. So this will tell us this tells us the if statement isn't really working. Okay, so let's make sure this part of the program is working. So I'm going to basically do the same thing. It prints it once, which I find very interesting. So let's go over, and again, it's still not printing. Okay, so what this is telling me is that this part of the code is never really reached. Okay, so somehow we're not quite getting to this code. And since we only have a couple functions here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way backwards. And I come across this line where it says turtle.done. Now, if you ask me, that sounds like the turtle's finished. Um, but that's not quite what it means. Uh, this is the same as turtle.main loop. Okay, I actually had to Google this because I didn't know. And that's always a good thing. If you don't know something, what it does, Google it. Okay, so turtle.main loop. What that does is that is used to basically keep your turtle window open. Uh, so when the program ends, it doesn't shut. But what it also has the effect of doing is it, it calls the turtle main loop method. And basically what happens is your code is stuck inside this main loop forever. So it never actually gets past this line. So I'm going to take this out and put this at the end. Turtle main loop should always be the last line of your program. Or as this person used, done. Okay, they're, they're basically the same function. So let's try that. Okay, I really got to speed that up. But it's fun to watch. Okay. okay, so it's printing. Okay. Now this this happens on Mac. Mac is really weird about this kind of stuff. So I can see that this is printing. So I'm going to close that and get rid of these. Um, this is a, a weird. Like I said this is kind of a weird Mac thing. Um, it locks up when you have a loop like that. I I don't quite know why, but it does unfortunately. Um, but let's try and run it one more time. Let's see if we can get that to work. Yeah, it does that. Um, let me stop that for a second. Um, usually, how we can fix that? What do I usually fix that with? So I can say. T Try that, see if it works. Okay. 
Okay, so that does work. Um, so now let me see if I hit the border. Okay, so you can see how now it's bouncing back because I'm hitting the border. The border is actually here. So I think we need to change the, the number. Um, so that's probably around 400 and something. So um, terminate. Just curious why that's printing now. Uh, anyway, okay, so so 450 is probably a little too high. Let's try let's try 390. And to speed up that border, that's really kind of getting on my nerves now. B dot speed zero. Okay. Especially because I have other things to do. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so it's, I mean, that was a little too low, but you get the idea. Uh, now let's try the other side. I can go right off the other side. But now I can't come back. Um, this is because this person is using forward and back. Okay, so forward, uh, when you start the turtle, it's always facing to the right. So that's forward and this is back. Okay, so what we need to do is t.setHeading and zero is to the right, and left is t dot set heading uh, 180. And then instead of going back, we'll go forward. Okay, so then down here where it says back, then we'll be going backwards because we're either going this way or that way. And let me try and make this maybe 425. Compromising the numbers a little bit. Again, it's not, maybe not the, the most uh, I don't know, functional way to do it, but it does work. Okay, so boom, I hit the border. Okay, and ooh, did you see it spun? That was kind of cool. Ooh, that was weird. Okay, so it is kind of, it is working more or less. It's not, not the most elegant solution, but it does work. Um, so there you have it. That was basically how to do a really quick debugging. Um, again, something along the lines of you use a print statement to see if that section of the code is reached. Um, use a print statement to see what the value of the variables are and to see if they match your expectations. Um, now this little thing here with the, the, the Mac locking up, I don't know why it does that, um, but I just basically gave it some kind of turtle command. Now since B is hidden, we don't actually see it, so it's probably just running, it's just sitting there doing nothing. But that will solve that little problem on Mac. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.